This week on Clown College. And funny. I saw his I saw his dick. You when did. It got leaked online. Did you see it, Brandon? Nah, Pull man. Pull that up. Yeah, let's dude. see. No, we're not nah. pulling up. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, we'll it's see just, it after. It's like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big wrestling fan, bro. No, he just said, we'll nah, see it after. Nah, 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 nah. nah He's good. like, yeah, I got it on my phone. I'm good. Wait, so that, that's really out there? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. What the hell? I, saw, I just crazy. saw it on Twitter when I was like 13. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here, too. Jamie 2.0, I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Brandon, just know this is that screen recording. All right, Brandon. I promise you this time, nobody's going to jump out and surprise you, man. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> no, but no, <laughs> no <laughs> shorter ethnic gentleman is going <laughs> to burst in the door and, you know, try to, I don't <laughs> get you into his organization or whatever. Hey, I didn't mind it. I loved it. That was fun. Yeah, that was dude. Good. That's how that's how they institutionalize you, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, watch mean, out hey, that red forty. Just dude. this time it was a good one. Oh, uh, what you? My headphones just went out, my man. Did too. It did. Oh, no. Wait, what? I hear them again now. I hear it now. Oh, okay, yeah, I hear it now too. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes we fuck up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. That's what we do. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear him? Say something again. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, I can hear you. Oh, you can't? I don't hear me, really. Hold on, let me... I kind of do. Is it all at the same level? Yeah, they're like, all at four. Oh, I heard it there. Woo! You may turn out more. Yeah, turn yeah. them all to six. Put these on six, too, then. Let's see. Uh, Wait, no, what, what, I hear it now. I hear it now. Yeah, I hear it now. So oh, yeah, it was because it, it was turned down. That's put why I couldn't. Five. Put them all on five. Yeah, yeah. That better? Oh, is that yeah. the audio for the yeah. headphones? Yeah. Headphone oh, audio. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So now I can hear it. Why they make that separate? Well, I guess yeah. that makes Hey, you got to. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> the more buttons, I just get intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? How do you feel your first uh, week as Black Panther? Man, feels awesome, man. You know, Wakanda forever. I love it. I, just, I feel like it was meant to be, man. I've always loved Black Panther. I always had the gears. When I trained, I would have Black Panther stuff. It was Hell yeah. Good shit. I even got a notebook now dedicated to Black Panther. <laughs> I like that. I, th- I do yeah. think it's a little bootleg, though, but I like it. I know. They got <laughs> the Black Panther and the Black Lion. Yep. Yeah. They got all the black big cats, dude. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. The BBCs. <laughs> the black yeah, big cats. The big, dude. Yeah, big black cats. <laughs> yeah, about oh, to say that something was about. better. Yeah. <laughs> big black cats. <laughs> oh, shit. CCC. So what happened? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he said CCC. Yeah, C-C-C. that's a little bit different, but that's okay. Yeah. What's CCC? Uh, cats, cats, and cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you and Jake's podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> ah! That was a bad voice crack. I've been doing that a lot. It happens, that's man. That's because you just turned 21. And, yeah. Uh, and you were screaming those karaoke lyrics, Yeah, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't mm-hmm. sing, though, did no, you? No, I didn't. He didn't no. sing. I was back but there. I was back there. I lost oh, my voice. Oh, you told me I was singing either. You was back there killing them songs. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I ain't never seen it. JJ this drunk. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't, dude. I don't really don't got a problem with drinking, but, like, I'll get very, very drunk, but like, you, once every three months. Yeah, yeah, like, the whole year I've known you, a little under a year. Yeah. Never seen you drunk, and then you, yeah. you were you were lit. It's because I yeah. told myself in advance. I was like, "It's Brandon's birthday. I'm gonna just let myself have fun, do whatever." And then the lady fucking shorted me ten dollars oh, in man. my change Fuck. at Whataburger, that, dude. The same. If you if you watch any of these episodes, the same Whataburger girl who asked me and Sci-Fi to double team her. Yeah, that's dude. the same one. I was getting that vibe. Yeah. Unbelievable. She asked. Man. She's like. She said, "You can have my ass, and you can have my mouth." <laughs> Damn. And then this time, she shorted JJ ten dollars. Unbelievable. Wait, so why, how did that come? Did you be like, yo, can I get like a number five? And she's like, you can also get. She brought up when she, like at Waterbury, you know how they bring your food? Yeah. Just like she did with us. She brought the food and she just sat down and she she sat down next to Sci Fi. She was like, I know what y'all do. Uh, you can have my mouth and you can have my ass. Wow. And Jalen had just walked in with his uh, cousin and then I'm sitting there like, uh, yeah, don't. 
didn't expect that to come out. Like it yeah. came out of nowhere. Of all, there was no oh, talk before shit. this, or we weren't flirting or anything. You know they do that on TikTok a lot now with those jokes. Like they let some girl say some weird stuff. Like there's a pepperoni. Was it Domino's girl? She be like, you can have my pepperoni. And then everybody's confused. Oh, but uh, that's just for like that's oh, this over the serious. top to yeah. get people to interact with. It. She was a hundred percent serious. Mm. I know it's just like, crazy. Oh, she, without a doubt, when she came and dropped the food off, you know, I ordered two meals. Oh said, yeah, me too. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> and then she was rubbing my back. Like, she was rubbing the center of my back, and I was so drunk, I didn't even feel it. But then I looked, and I saw her arm moving. I was like, is she touching me right now, dude? <laughs> yeah, I had a weird vibe, too, man. I was just sitting there, just zoned out. <laughs> and then I didn't <laughs> notice till the next morning that she shorted me 10 bucks. Dude. That's fucked up. It was fucked up. And you know she pocketed that shit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. but good for her, honestly. Yeah. I even heard when we, we went but I in. I needed she, it. <laughs> yeah, right. I still do. <laughs> we went in. She was like, "Y'all drunk?" And I was like, "Yeah, she." So y'all been drinking? I'm gonna take advantage. Yeah. I don't know. You yeah. never know. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, man. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that, I can't man. believe she. I can't believe she shorted you after she offered offered us her ass in her mouth. And That's ridiculous. She's gonna do this. That's some bullshit. You know what it is, Dom? It's racism. It is. It's like Sour Patch <laughs> Kids, man. First sweet, then sour. I didn't know what to say because, like, for a second, I got genuinely angry about it again. I was hurt about it. Dude. Ten, you can t- stretch ten dollars a long. Oh way, yeah, bro. oh yeah. Like, and especially whenever you, you're you're taking the cash out so you don't overspend on your car. Yeah. So you know what you're spending. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And I don't keep money in the bank, dude. Really? Look at this. This is the, the Great oldest, Depression. Dude. This is yeah, the oldest is. motherfucker you <laughs> Look guys at that, will bro. Meet. I'll keep it in the fucking bottom of my trash can, dude. <laughs> Oh shit! Below the bag. What did the garbage truck come? Just kidding. If you look there, you're gonna find a note that says "fuck you," bro. I never tell you where I keep it, dude. Damn. <laughs> I can see you having like a little panel in your wall that you can pop out. It's too stuff, obvious. In there. It's too obvious, man. Not like, like it looks like the wall though. Yeah, but people would find it, bro. People would find it, dude. You wouldn't even. I got like in my room. I got a whole bunch of shoe boxes in my on my wall. So, like, I, I have them, like, pinned into the wall, and I keep different things in each shoebox, dude. Mm. Who needs a fucking shelf when <laughs> you, you right? got a shoebox, dude? It's resourcefulness, dude. It's like uh, Odysseus from the Odyssey. Have you ever read that, Brandon? Uh, oh, actually, we did do a they, little paragraph in yeah, school. Promethazine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Him of, too, man. Yeah. I think that's what he had to have drink to get past Scylla and Charbitis or whatever. Odysseus. How you spell this? Odysseus. O D Y. All right. Hold S- up. Let me go back. Oh. Is that Odell Beckham Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> Odysseus. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool Look at dude. that guy. It looks like Zeus. Damn, he does. That, what, all these, who is, who is Odysseus? What, what, is he, what did he do? He was a general in the Trojan War. Oh, okay. And he was in the Odyssey is about his journey back home, and he runs into all these troubles because he was stranded for like twenty years or something like that. Damn, he went through like I mean this is all fake, mm-hmm. but like he went through uh, all these different struggles. Like that's the fucking Cyclops, dude. Wow. He had to escape the Cyclops on the island, and they tied themselves under sheep to escape. And that's actually he blinded the Cyclops and he tricked them. He was like. Uh, the dude, while he was escaping, he was like, what's your name? And he was like, because the Cyclops' dad is Poseidon mm-hmm. or something like that. And Poseidon would have yeah, fucked yeah, him yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, I know that and, part. And yeah. he was like, what's your name? He's like, my name's Nobody. And so he's, the Cyclops was like crying out like, nobody's hurting me. You know, nobody blinded me. <laughs> wow. and he was just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, because I, I, they have a movie about this, right? Well, the, yeah, it's, it's yeah, lore. Yeah. Like... Uh, yeah, I mean, I mem- I mem- yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the uh, the Cyclops and him tricking them and all that. Yeah, I must have read it somewhere. You're talking about Percy Jackson, we should re- dude. We should remake the Odyssey for a skit. Like, do le- each skit like each different situation. Brandon will make a perfect Cyclops. Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was thinking no, ogre, yeah, but <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah makes sense, yeah, makes sense. Perfect. Perfect. He just looks like a dude that would own sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Ogre, man. Shout out Ogre. He sent me a, he sent a, me a video of somebody covering Freebird on the harp. It was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. <laughs> Ogre said a video. That I, I, let him, I let him pile up, and then I watch them all whenever I have time. Oh, and yeah. And it's always a good time. He'll send some crazy shit. He'll be on here in two, two guests. Hell, Hell yeah. You're in for a treat, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogre is the man. <laughs> the funniest <laughs> motherfucker, dude. I had a like a... A moment of cognitive dissonance. I was conflicted within myself when Ogre was on the stage at Shag Nasties because I was like, around the three and a half minute mark, I was like, wait, 
how do I give him the light, dude? <laughs> and I'm not trying to be funny. That was like a genuine yeah. thought that I had. And then thank you for talking to Kim about it because I had no idea what to do. Yeah, because I could tell. I was like, you you flashed the light. And I was like, well, there's no way Ogre can see that. Yeah. You know? And then I asked Kim and she was like, uh, he'll be done after this joke. And he started going into uh, another joke. And he was like, it's your time, Ogre. <laughs> Shout out, Kim. We, I went Hell to, yeah. I went to that uh, uh, improv that Dan Price was the on. Sketchy. The sketchy. The sketch. Yeah, sketchy show. That's sketchy. That's sketchy like that. at uh, Shenanigans. And I think they're going to keep on repeating uh, this show. And it was funny. Like, the, I don't get how they, like, for sketches and shit, like, it's it's improv out there. They had all this shit, like, with no no notes or anything. And they went through all these scenarios. I Probably, like, ten. That's impressive, man. And then they had, like, a couple of skits that were uh, filmed. Love both of those. It was, like, a ghost reel, like, Somebody who will put a ghost in your house. Oh, like a like a reverse exorcism. Yeah, kind of like that. And then like, he's he's like, I'll put the ghost in your house. And then they have one of like um, uh, like when you you didn't go back to work when you work from home. And then they do performance reviews, but they come back, they come to your house, and it was oh, like man. a, you know, it was like a cat lady. It was funny. And then uh, they had a whole bunch of skits, dude, like a whole bunch. And uh, after an intermission, Dan and Kim did the news. I fucking killed it. Like people were coming up, like, this is my favorite part of the show. Yeah, did the yeah. Kim did a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with uh, <laughs> it was like what the dude, like the questions at the end to get the million dollars were uh progressively getting like he killed somebody. Like he was saying, <laughs> I'm gonna donate this to my best friend, uh uh to the park that he died in, and then like all the questions were like getting him to admit that he killed the dude. It was funny as shit. I that is it. funny. I've n- i yeah. would never even think of something like that. No, man. not even close Same to here. that's what I when I was watching it, I was like, Man, these guys I mean it's just it's 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 off the wall skits, but they 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 play it grounded, and uh, you could tell like it was a couple of people who were like at both of the skits, so they must be like the 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 big yeah. improv guy. Because we know we don't know any of the improv guys. I mean, people. I don't know many of them. I don't mm-hmm. even know. Let Ledlow is really the only Ledlow, and then what's the big guy's name? Because he was there, but he wasn't in it. Uh, he was on the Spelling Bee. Mm, I know you're talking. Oh, about. you went there at the spelling bee, huh? Mm-mm. Damn, I don't remember. You, you know who I'm talking? About? He was funny as hell. I know exactly who you're talking about. Like, he does impressions too, I think, right? Now I don't know because I've only I seen him at the spelling bee and like hmm. one other time, but he was hilarious at the spelling bee. Like he was killing it. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. But uh, the ability to improvise—that's just like an impressive skill mm-hmm. to make it entertaining, make it believable. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's a whole nother skill on its own, man. Hell yeah. So that's dope that people are able to do that. But the only time we tried to improv, dude, it was uh, <laughs> interesting. Which time? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you're talking about at uh, the shop? Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. With, oh. with the uh, it was so 18th bad. century orphans go to the mall for the first time. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was. We, yeah, we bombed. And then, and then whenever they explained it, I was like, I guess it was kind of easy. But in my mind, I was like, that's the hardest thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't even know how to. <laughs> To portray this. It's like doing a tongue twister, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, I started method acting to be an orphan. Both my parents left. I don't know if that counts as being an orphan, <laughs> but like <laughs> voluntary orphan. You know, that's the uh, my school's mascot. Orphans? We're the orphans. Well, dude, that the doesn't orphans. even... Can you look that up, Brandon? Go, go to Centralia Orphans. That's... Centralia. I thought number, we had a Number one mascot. winners basketball team in all high school uh, basketball. In the For world. real? That's yeah. wild, dude. Centralia Orphans. Centra- yeah, but look, basketball's first day that pops up. But is there? Wait, I'm so confused. Is it like an actual orphan? Like oh, that's how the we orphan. would think? Oh, yeah, it's an actual orphan, right? Why here. is he? The, what? What about him? <laughs> makes him an orphan. You man. know, I never thought about wow. it when I was younger. But we're the orphans, dude. That's crazy. Wow. Can you look at? Can you go to like the Wikipedia page yeah, let's, let's at see Orphan let's see Nation? Graduated 2006. <laughs> they took the at Orphan Nation Twitter handle, dude. dude I see. doubt we have a Wikipedia page. Uh, on, oh, they, dude, they definitely do. do. I thought we had a weird mascot, man. We were the Spartan High School Senators. Oh yeah, yeah that's that's but we were the named after means- a senator. Mascots. No, the, senator oh, and like the literal like politician, the, oh, okay, like the okay. office, you know, because well, we're named after like John Sparkman or something like that's that. That's about as bad. It's not as bad, but they're equally as strange. Because who the fuck would be? Look at our page. We all got shit. The girls are the Annies. Yeah. How do you have more Orphan source Annie's. references than actual material? <laughs> <laughs> like, that makes no sense. Okay. Because <laughs> Centralia, dude, they're so stuck in like, dude. I'm telling you, they're stuck in like probably equivalent to the 1980s. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds yeah. kind of cool. 
Not no. the, the just the no, worst of the eighties. Yeah, not, not any of the good of, things yeah. about the eighties. Just the worst part. I, mean, yeah, I like yeah. the eighties now. People still pay with checks. And dude, how oh, much? How much did they pay D-Lo to make this? <laughs> <laughs> to write this up, dude. <laughs> It'd be some misspelling in there if he wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, though. Me <laughs> three. <laughs> so I would be good at this. Uh, write one of these up. What a fucker. Yeah, well, that's, that's Centralia High School, dude. I'm trying to get on that. I can't believe cocktail. it doesn't say the winningest basketball team. We have a sign. Scroll down over here, Let's school see. district. You said school district? Just scroll down to the over here. Yeah, I don't say nothing. Damn. Go back to the basketball. Yeah, let me man. just go back to basketball. I'm trying to see the roster. Let's see. Oh, right there. Varsity. It's hey. March Madness. Basketball's in the Let's air. See who dude. up? Okay. Roster. Oh, they got a big roster this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the, the numbers f- tend to fluctuate. Man, let's see what we dealing with. <laughs> it's a weird ass laugh. <laughs> right. I love it, man. Brandon, if you if you could go back to like your your youth, like five, six, seven years old, and you could dedicate your life to playing one sport, what would you choose? One sport? Mm. Oh man, you already know MMA. I, mean, you oh, I thought you were going to say basketball. No, I would thought you were going to say MMA. wrestling. MMA. Well, Brandon's already good at basketball. Dude. MMA. He's good enough, dude. Man, fuck all we can't that. have MMA. him being any better. Dude. <laughs> I love that. No. MMA. Yes, that's why I would want to prefer. I'm still trying to work on fixing that when I get free time one day. you more of a stand-up, like striker, ground yeah. and pound kind of guy. Yeah, and then I also wrestling, too, because that's where we came from. I had to start wrestling. Would you rather be in the UFC or the WWE, Brandon? Ooh. Mm, UFC. Oh wow. wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute. No, yeah, UFC, both same difference. Yes. I, I kind of get that though, because he wants to like be a UFC fighter and have yes. that vibe, but he can still appreciate the lore and the history and the culture of the WWE. Yeah. It's actually because he's well rounded, much like Odysseus, mm-hmm. dude. Mm-hmm. a man of resourcefulness and cunning, mm-hmm. yeah. craftiness. Plus, later in the long line, once I get through with my career, I can go. I can be like, okay, I'm done with UFC. Uh, let's let's go to WWE because I see a lot of UFC fighters end up going to WWE like Ronda Rousey and Ken Shamrock. Is Man. Ronda Rousey good? Do they like her in the WWE? I mean, yeah, they made her very popular. Like I think she was a heel. Mm. The heel, you know what the heel is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, she was heel. I think they okay. had like she was copying. They had her wear like Roddy Piper's shirt. I, yeah, oh, I, I do did remember see that. that. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Man, that. I, I That's know. weird. Like, WWE, like, they get to decide who's the best. Yeah. yeah. And then UFC is just kind of... Like, if Sean Strickland wasn't good at fighting, that dude would never have even been in the company. Dude. Oh, no, no. God, no. Like, if Sean Strickland was in the WWE, could you imagine that? Him cutting a promo and just saying something crazy. probably be the best at it. Oh, well, fuck I, yeah. I mean, I would be his number one fan. Don't yeah. get me I'd have his fucking t-shirt. <laughs> me too. No, I'd be at WrestleMania right now, dude. Hey, that's <laughs> coming up, ain't it? WrestleMania is soon. Yes, it is. WrestleMania 40. What's the bit? 40. Oh, 40. Oh, hell yeah. It's going to be like The Rock in there. You got some Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Dusted. It. It's going to be crazy. Didn't, like, before last WWE, Cody Rhodes, like, tore his peck or something so he couldn't be oh, in yeah. WrestleMania? They made plenty of I action figures. I heard him talking about that. Mm-hmm. They made oh, action man, figures dude, about tearing it. Tearing your pecs got to fuck oh, it. Man. Have you ever seen those? Uh, you probably They probably post some on restricted videos. <laughs> like, people who tear their peck on, like, incline bins. Oh, yeah. And or then on you can just see it, like, come off. Oh, hell. Uh, oh man! Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, that was there hell it is. Hell Ooh, it's all purple and mm-hmm. shit, dude. Yep, then yep. he finished oh, the match or something. Yeah, shit? he did. He's Bro, a warrior, how? Man. How? It it has to be like adrenaline carrying you through this part. Gotta be yeah, because be that has to hurt so fucking bad. I mean, look at it, dude. It looked like somebody hit him with a baseball bat mm-hmm. in the chest. Damn, that shit looks. That's bleeding. All and it's the way. very, 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 very. Was it memorable? Oh my now, gosh, man. dude! It looks like he has a fucking black plague. Oh my shit, it's grotesque. That True picture right there. Fucking warrior. Look at that. He, look at that shit. He had it and he was pressing <laughs> it too, man. What? Oh, he they like played into oh, it. Oh yeah, they were like, fuck it. We're gonna keep rolling with you know. You gotta dedicate to the part. Who is he fighting, right? Is that Seth, Seth Rollins? Seth freaking Rollins. Is he good? Dude. Oh hell yeah, man. That dude is amazing and funny. I saw his I saw his dick. You when did. He got leaked online. Did you see it, Brandon? Nah, man. Pull that up. Yeah, dude. let's see. No, we're not nah. pulling up Seth. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, we'll it's see just, it after. It's like great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm a big wrestling fan, bro. No, he just said, we'll nah, see it after. Nah, 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 nah. nah He's good. like, yeah, I got it on my phone. I'm good. Wait, so that, that's really out there? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. What the hell? I, saw, I just crazy. saw it on Twitter when I was like 13, you know? Oh. Oh, so it was a Damn. long time ago. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay. Kind of like, you when know, you see team? all the classic ones, bro. You see Seth Rollins. You see Brett Favre. i never seen Brett Favre. I'm a Packers that fan. Mm-hmm. I've seen Jennifer Lawrence. Uh... 
What's the other girl? She has a dick, man. No, I'm talking about nudes. I know. Dude. Oh. <laughs> well, I remember. Uh, I I haven't looked at any of those. When I was young, I was uh, specific. <laughs> See, when I was Only a young child, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> when I was young, I was just looking. I was like, let's see what they got next. There was this thing called Celeb G-Hop. And yeah, G-Hop? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I know what man, you're it was either about. real that. or stuff. it was either deep fake. And uh, yeah, we saw a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Huh. Don't know if it was real or not, but. Yeah, as fuck. long as you, just like the yeah. WWE, it's real as long <laughs> as you believe, man. It's real as whatever you want to believe, like Disney says, you know. Cause I'm a Disney fan too, man. Yeah, Disney and porn kind of go together. Yes, they actually mm. do. Like, you got the, <laughs> a little bit different. You got the little wine, phew, and then when they tap each other, it explodes and shit. You know what, what? <laughs> dude? Are you talking about like on Disney Channel when they would do? Yeah, the thing? you know. Yeah. Have you ever, do you have you seen that? I know what like with that's so yeah. Raven. And no, the yeah, no, yeah. I'm talking about the movies. You know when they start in the ferry, touches the top of the castle, and just blow up. Oh yeah, it's not like know. a real. It's like in the intro where Tinkerbell. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. Wait, what? That's the intro for the porn. How Damn, that, that kind. Of, no, I was saying, I was saying, <laughs> like you guys were talking about Disney. I don't know. Yeah, like, Disney I, and porn, how they cross over. And that, you that said, was yeah, they example. actually do. So I was like, I was like, I guess that could be a little tiny explode. reference with the castle exploding. I don't know. That's what I was saying. Oh, there are a lot of subliminal messages yeah. in the Disney movies. Yeah, like I think the 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 uh, the person who's ordaining. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to get. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> I thought I thought you were like you know like the Pornhub intro where it's like the little drum yeah. thing. I thought he was trying to say like for the Disney porn parodies there was something similar oh, to that. No. And they use like Tinkerbell and she like squirts on the castle. Or no, no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the Pixar thing. You know when they go. Mm-hmm. Oh, with the lamp? Yeah. On them, that, that, I don't know why that kind of relates to it a little bit. Because <laughs> awesome. like, it's like you hear a little like, boom, 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 and then you hear doom, doom, doom. Like, it's just more upbeat, I feel like. I feel you, man. Yeah. I, I was talking to Brandon before you got in here, and we were talking about, I've been real hyped about the new Taco Bell menu items. The yeah, Cantina yeah. Chicken mm-hmm. Quesadilla, go try Do yourself a favor, dude. Go try it out. And uh, I was talking to Brandon, he was like, they put an extra taco in there, and when he was trying to describe to me what the taco looked like, I was like, was it a hard shell or soft shell taco? And he went, you know, it's like a, a soft <laughs> shell. And I'm no. like, what? I like that soft, silly, yeah, <laughs> soft shell. Okay, please put that. You that have to switch one. his camera on. Oh, that. it definitely is. Soft, soft shell. Yeah, are you doing, are you describing, this is, it's interesting that you're trying to do a visual demonstration yeah. for texture. Yeah, because yeah, my thing is like, like a burrito is fully covered. But just That's taco, how you would describe a burrito. Yeah, the burrito because it's covered up. this is ASL? You you know sign taco, language? That's a taco because you it's like you put the meat in there. If you're doing a taco, taco. I don't feel like this yeah. is it. Man. You don't see the taco. Like the hard I mean, taco. I get what yeah. you're saying. I get what you're saying, but that's I don't think that's how I would do it. I don't know. Yeah. No. You know, you know, I don't think anybody in the world would do that but you. So you say so you say a burrito is this. Yeah, because everything's covered, uh-huh. I feel like. Everything's covered okay. up. Okay. So and then now, it's soft. That's soft shell. Yeah, because look, it's like the Then what's hard? Oh, my bad. They're both like because of you. Like when you have it fully up, like even with a soft one, I'll make it look like this. He's saying this is the shell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But why do you, how you uh, say what's different between a hard shell and a soft shell? What would you do for soft shell? Make it a little looser. (laughs) <laughs> that's what we'll do make it looser cause like I feel like with it the can soft be done shell, with words <laughs> no because I'm saying make it loose because with the with the soft one it's loosening up a little bit so that but the hard one's more stiff <laughs> the hard one more stiff but I was trying real hard to be on your side Brandon you're losing me <laughs> you man. Don't, yeah. I kind of get the vision with the hard shell so I get that yeah. soft so which one was it a soft shell or hard shell oh it was soft it was a soft soft shell. and amazing it was like a, yeah it was really good I man. think it was that new burrito bro mm. man I didn't try it but the quesadilla is banging, crispy chicken tacos banging, so good, man. But that still doesn't have anything on Guthrie, dude. Golden fried and made with pride since 1965. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't have to watch it, dude. <laughs> yeah. But Guthrie, let's sing it. Uh, uh, that's the only line that I know. Say it again. What's how this is line go? Golden fried, golden fried, made with pride since 1965. That's the only line I remember. Guthrie. There's a lot of American flags, a lot of white people, not a lot of diversity. Not a lot at all. But go to Guthrie's, man. That shit is good, bro. See, I want to go, Dang, but the closest too. one is Coleman, and that's a sundown town. Yeah. Which yeah. I don't. Well, whenever yeah. we go to Birmingham next time, they yeah. got one in like one of the suburbs out there, and it was good, man. Hell it's yeah. fucking good. I went at 10 a.m. 
mm. to eat fried chicken, dude, because it, it's just that good, bro. You so you waited till they opened to go in there. It just so happened to line up because I was coming back from Auburn. Okay, to like line up to where I got there right at ten thirty. Mm. You know, and mm. I was about to pull. It was a sign from the Lord. It was a Sunday, I believe, <laughs> and I was pulling. I was. I had to stop to get, uh, not get gas. I had to piss, mm. but I was gonna go to a gas station. But then I saw a Guthrie's right there, and I was like, bro. This is a sign. Yeah. So I went in there, got some food. It was good. It was probably probably about thirty five degrees outside, and the man who was in the drive through was wearing like a one of those puffer puffer like sweater vest with short sleeves on. And you know he's the divine intervention. He's probably drinking though, yeah, keeping maybe, him warm, dude. Maybe a little bit. I don't blame him. Not wrong food was that. good. Came out on time. That's all I care about, man. Hell yeah. I think Hell we. Man. I think you should be able to drink on the job as long as you're not like a driver. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I mean, why not? Definitely should be able to smoke on the job. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be able to stop people from doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> like, hey, you know, with the pins, with the pins and shit. now, no, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Everybody's high. I dude. lost my pen, man. I'm so mad about that. Oh man, Take and that was a while ago that. too, man. I know mad you're mad about that. Still mad because it was his last one, and that was like a brand new in the box. In the box, and these were the two grams. Damn, oh, damn. so they last forever. I would have still been puffing on it right now. Damn, man. The liquid diamond blend, dude, doesn't get better than that. That shit hurts. It's a high quality I mean, I resin. lost in my lifetime. A lot. Let's take a moment of silence. Come on. <laughs> play tap, dude. If you learn how to play taps on the trumpet, dude, please. Hey, shit, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, happy Palm Sunday, by the way, guys. <laughs> what? Is that what they do? I don't know what Palm Sunday is. It's like I'm the, like either. Palm Olive, like the leaves oh. when Jesus rode in <laughs> to the town. No idea. Because Easter's mean. next Sunday. Yeah, Easter Sunday. I know <laughs> yeah. about that. I got a green suit for that. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you got to dress to the nines suit. on Easter Sunday. You don't go to church any other day. Well, on Easter Sunday you go to church. <laughs> I'll be there, and that's for the Lord. You can catch me at your local yeah. Baptist establishment. Oh, mm-hmm. This is this on a Sunday. Uh, we're shooting because we're going to shoot on Saturday because of Easter Sunday. Because out of respect, out of respect. Oh, look at that nigga Barry, That's yeah. my boy. Whoa. So what's the suit like? Any of you, these? If you ain't Barry White, you ain't got a bag. Look at him. <laughs> I love how Dom said it was a green suit, and Brandon was like, "Did it look it's like this?" And picked be. on the only black and white picture. <laughs> it could be. It could be green. If Damn, you imagine. Bro. I didn't know that's what he was doing. One that's of cool. those people, dude, he's <laughs> one of those guys that almost has this, a strong-ass face. Oh, yeah, he was cool as like hell. Like Angelina man. Jolie. Shit. This one's not as angular, but yeah. it's still a strong-ass face. Yeah, it's strong features. Is that Drake? Huh? Is yeah. that Drake Drake's down Drake, there, dude? Oh, you no. He sampled some of his shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, they say you're trying to get Oh, that's his hairstyle. Hey, what? hey, but Barry was a uh, fraud died and laid to the side. You see that motherfucker ain't uh, playing hell, with that yeah. curl. And I remember Ooh, back in the day with that lined up bear. Barry, hey, Barry was ugly the motherfucker, but he, hey, he had all, the, all the bitches back then. That's a crazy lineup, dude. It's like a curve. Mm-hmm. It's a curve, but it's fresh though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating, bro. Mm-hmm. You know me. Oh man, yeah. All right, we gotta go. Hell that, yeah. Uh, our guest should be here in a second. The great Ashlyn Lutz. Hell yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fun. The darling of Huntsville mm-hmm. County. Yes. Self-proclaimed that wasn't yeah. a derogatory <laughs> remark. I promise. But. She's funny, and she's going to be a ball of energy. I already Hell know yeah. it. It's going to be Hell a yeah. See you in a second. See you guys. See Good evening, and welcome to the Moonshine News Report. I'm Dan Price. And I'm Sierra Moses. Presidential candidate and noted theologian Donald J. Trump endorsed a $60 God Bless the USA Bible this week. The Bible includes the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, and other editions. All proceeds from Bible sales will go to feed the poor and the hungry. (laughs) No, just kidding. The proceeds will go to help the guy convicted of fraud and sexual abuse defend himself from paying hush money to a porn star. President Joe Biden sparked outrage this week when he once again proclaimed March 31st the International Transgender Day of Visibility, which happens to fall on Easter Sunday this year. Many right-wing Christians took to social media to criticize the proclamation and holiday, accusing Joe Biden of, quote, replacing Easter. This response only perpetuates the stereotype that while Democrats like their eggs sunny side up, Christian conservatives prefer them hunted, deviled, or unfertilized. 
The Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed this week when a key support pillar was struck by a container ship. The massive steel truss bridge collapsed into the river, killing six construction workers and blocking the Baltimore Harbor. It's the most devastation caused in Baltimore since the Archdiocese of Baltimore. The Department of Homeland Security executed a search warrant this week at the properties of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs in relation to an ongoing investigation. Combs faces allegations of sex trafficking and sexual assault and fled for the Caribbean shortly after the raid, sparking further speculation. Evidence collected from the raid is expected to be released in the coming weeks. Until then, the diddler remains untouched, unlike many of his alleged victims. Washington State Governor Jay Inslee signed a law requiring a range of protections for adult dancers across the state. Known as the Stripper's Bill of Rights, the law mandates numerous policies and protections, including sexual harassment training for club employees, enhanced security measures in dressing rooms, and limits on the nightly fees that can be charged to dancers by club owners. Also in Washington State, 50,000 Amazon employees wish they were strippers. The identity of a billion-dollar Powerball winner was revealed this Friday. 39-year-old Yanira Alvarez of Southern California chose to receive the $558 million lump sum, which will cover her rent in L.A. for the next six months. And now for our continuing coverage of Apocalypse Watch 2024, sponsored by Do Nation HQ. And their new summer flavor sensation, Star Spangled Splash, the official caffeinated beverage of the end of days. A swarm of locusts will emerge from the ground in April, unleashing a month-long feeding and mating frenzy. Scientists call it spring break. Trillions of insects have been living underground, waiting to emerge for more than a decade. So naturally, they picked an election year. Singer Lizzo has sparked rumors of retirement after posting an emotional statement to Instagram on Friday, saying, I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit. The pop star has faced backlash in the recent year after three of her backup dancers accused her of sexual harassment, discrimination, and assault. Said the backup dancers in response to Lizzo's announcement, it's about damn time. Finnish ambassador Kai Sauer said in an interview that Scandinavian diplomats are returning to the old ways of, quote, sauna diplomacy to evade Russian spies and hackers. The use of saunas for passing confidential information is making a comeback because it's not easy for two naked men to hide a wire. A comeback is also how you know your sauna diplomacy session has ended. That'll do it for this week's Moonshine News Report. I'm Dan Price. And I'm Sierra Moses. Don't shoot the messengers. This week's featured comedian. What kind of vibes I give off up here? Okay. I had a bartender tell me one time I reminded him of both Gina Davis and Beetlejuice. <laughs> Which I think unfair. I think you had a pig. Am I charming or a goblin? Sir, am I charming or a goblin? Both? Fucking I'm gonna take you back to my little goblin novel. And if you answer these riddles three, you're gonna get this goblin dick. You answered right, actually. I am a charming goblin. I lost 50 pounds on purpose recently. Thank you. I'm single. And he was short. <laughs> He's also a really big Joe Rogan fan, so I consider myself a survivor. <laughs> I don't know why crypto guys are so into choking. <laughs> I don't know what information they want out of me. <laughs> I do not feel like I have it. <laughs> I mean, I would have told you at the start. Dude, you know what I just thought about? What? We should remake that. Uh, have you ever seen that movie where the kid plays baseball and he breaks his arm and he goes to the major leagues, but he's like 12 because he broke his oh, arm yeah. and he made Ooh, him throw so that's fast? A, 
what's it called? Rookie of the Rookie year. Of oh, the Rookie year. of the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. See, I just hit my funny bone, and then you hit it, and then you go become like a nationally touring, hyper successful comedian, but then you hit it again, and everybody hates you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, and it's real sad. Damn, man. Nothing good. Just a hard with bomb you. for an hour. <laughs> 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 you, you bomb at Madison Square Garden. Oh, you're talking about like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hey! <laughs> our guest today making our, her presence known who, who, who we got today jj we have one of the favorites of the huntsville mm-hmm. comedy what, what's she called uh the self-proclaimed darling on huntsville ooh, comedy that's ooh, not me whoa. being derogatory uh, a co-producer on the night camp variety show at shenanigans comedy theater let's go you can catch her at shows all around huntsville including the one that just happened the tickled pink at orion amphitheater i was there it was great oh yeah Today we have on Ashlyn Lutz. Hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, Ashlyn, how you doing? I'm good, how are you guys? Hell yeah, good. Thank you so good, much for good. coming on. Oh, thank you. I was there at the Orion Theater, and when I tell you, I've been telling everybody, you brought the motherfucking house down. Yes. <laughs> that was my first time seeing you do the, um, the splits. Really? Yeah, because everybody yeah. told me that you did it, but I have never <laughs> seen you do it. And yeah, you brought that <laughs> yeah, shit no, down. it's fine. I do. I like don't stretch or anything like that. I was like, I wrote that joke, and I was like, well, I guess I have to learn how to do the splits. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Wait, you learned it just for the joke? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, oh what? Yeah, no, like I when I first started telling that joke, like I I could not do a split at all. <laughs> like, I just wow. was like, <laughs> so how long did it take? I just was like, uh, I think it was like a month and a half before I was like, this is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! I think I can kind of do the split now. <laughs> It's wild. We should insert a clip of us trying to see how low we can go on a. Oh, uh, we can totally man, you, do that. You know, do that. Uh, <laughs> Look at this going to end in a like a copay. I feel like. <laughs> 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 the Lego like, You heard him. Oh, this is a good time to do it because I realized like I kept getting like too drunk and then just going for the split. Ooh. <laughs> So I was like hurt for like a week after, but I was like, I think I think I loosened something up. <laughs> I, think, I think I can do this now. So you come from a big family. Yes. Eight mm-hmm. siblings. No, no, no. Ten. 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 Yeah. Ten. Oh, okay. So we got eight of them. Do you, let me say, can I say their names? Yeah. Right. Names. Jennifer, Isaac, Allen. I don't know how to say the A L. Elena. 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 Luke, Jennifer. Oh, two. Heather and Amanda. Mm-hmm. And There's two Jennifers. Two? No, there's just one. Jennifer. <laughs> oh. Jennifer's oh, on here. Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had Jennifer and Jennifer. Those twins. That's what I was wondering. I think I Jennifer and Jennifer. <laughs> one with two ends. That's funny, we couldn't pick, so. Uh, yeah, we also have. Wait, I don't know. I can say them in order. Mm-hmm. I don't know who you know. Okay, we have uh, Heather, Brandon, Mandy, Billy, Brittany, Luke. Me, Elena, Jenna, Isaac, Allen. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. So you're like smack in the middle, kind yes. of. Yes. Mm-hmm. I guess okay. it's the same way. I have, I think, I think it's eleven of us total, mm-hmm. and I'm like right in the middle. Whew. Yeah, damn, eleven. Are you guys from like different? Oh, d- pan- it's, mm-hmm. oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You're oh, the yeah. same. We're the same. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. We're like Pentecostal pastor same. Oh okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. This is what I was excited to talk to you about. Uh, <laughs> you grew up really religious. Yeah. I'm with you. Like w- cold ass. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> I'm like with you. where we can't watch Disney movies because of something. Oh, you, uh, you couldn't uh-huh. watch Disney's. That's a little harder than mine. Uh, we could watch Disney Channel later on, but mm-hmm. still not Cartoon Network yeah. and still not like MT- anything MTV. MTV or like that. So you couldn't listen to any worldly music? No. What did they call it? What did your parents Secular. Call it? Secular. Secular, <laughs> yeah. Secular <laughs> music, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and your first one of your first jokes is uh, I have to know more about this about uh <laughs> your mom performed an exorcism on you hey, yeah that was my first first joke uh, <laughs> and it's not even a joke it's just like a story can we, can <laughs> can we just, please like, hear it tell you guys about how my mom tried to exercise me <laughs> yeah. when I was a kid also I think I was like no no I think I was like Ten. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And so me and my mom we were just like watching TV together and she had found this like documentary style of like people who had been possessed by demons. And so it was like a like a dateline but uh-huh. like for <laughs> possession <laughs> <laughs> where it just like tells the story and like priests come in with like the facts <laughs> of the matter and like this was probably a bull headed demon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hardest to get rid of. <laughs> 
<laughs> like an encyclopedia of the demon types. And so like we were watching this one episode and like the guy got possessed and he like they got in the car. I'm telling you what I remember uh-huh. from when I was 10. But like got in the car and was driving. But like the whole time he was driving, he was like looking at the lady. <laughs> Oh, wow. And so, like, didn't look at the road the whole time he drove home in the story. And then, uh, like, they got home. They got, like, a priest there. Also, like, first of all, excellent driver, the demon. He knew those. <laughs> yeah. He, he had been around there. those back roads. <laughs> 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 He's been in that town for generations. <laughs> but anyway, they got home. The priest, like, like straight jacketed him or something. I don't know. And then he had like a briefcase that he opened. This is what I remember from when I was 10. So I, these facts could be very wrong saw, <laughs> at this good. point. Yeah. But then he, there he had like a plate and like a little glass cup and then a vial of holy water. So he like poured the holy water in the cup, put the plate on top of it, flipped it over, put it on the guy's head and started like praying and tapping it. And the guy like yawned really big and it was like, yep, the demon's gone. <laughs> we got rid of the demon. <laughs> And then my mom, like, in the same, like, right after that episode ended, went into our, like, trailer kitchen and got, like, a styrofoam plate and, like, literally a red Solo cup and, like, filled it with tap water (laughs) in the kitchen and then put the styrofoam (laughs) plate on it, like, flipped it over, did the same device the priest did, and then just came over to me while I was, like, chilling on the couch. (laughs) Started, like, doing that same thing to me. She thinks so, you were possessed? I don't know, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I never figured it out. <laughs> she has wow. not. She has. She doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> My mom does the same mm-hmm. thing. Oh, I don't remember these things. I was like, why did you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Because I got mad I didn't let her finish. Yeah, okay. So then for like years later, I was like, she knew something I didn't know. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm possessed. But <laughs> so she got it out of you. Oh, no, yeah. I didn't let her. <laughs> oh, it only oh, yeah, yeah, worked. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was bullheaded. <laughs> get it out. Yeah, I know uh, when I was young, I did something wrong or got in trouble sometimes. Like, my mom got too mad and accidentally cussed or something. She'd get, like, the oil and then pray, put it on my head. Mm-hmm. And then put it over the walls and be like, okay, I got to. Then she would do the times. And... I can still smell the olive oil. Oh, man, I smell it, too. It's the so olive good. olive oil? <laughs> no. Not we were the elites. We yeah. were working with that shit. We were the elites. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. My dad was a pastor, all right. He had that. He yeah. had that vial on him. He had that thing on him. <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, first song that you listened to? I think that it was you like, snuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. that you snuck. I think it was Vampire Weekend. <laughs> My sister had just got married, and so she like married a hipster. <laughs> and then he like snuck, made the sister I was sharing a room with CDs, and so like we had like basically like pirated illegal cds like hidden in our dresser Hell <laughs> yeah! it was like vampire weekend and i found it and i really was this close to snitching because i was like Brittany, if you send us to hell I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna be so upset with you but then like it was like that vampire weekend like obvious bicycle uh-huh album yeah okay okay <laughs> I got in trouble for listening to Backstreet Boys whenever I was mm-hmm. young. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> the whole thing. I blamed it on my brother. Who's lit VH1 in this house? And I blamed it on my big brother, and then uh, he got a whooping. And I was like, my bad, bro. <laughs> Damn, oh, man. my gosh. Which which song did uh, they find that you were listening to? Like, which I one? Wanted That Away. Ooh. Uh, worth it. Right? I worth it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but what's, what's, what's secular about that, man? It ain't Jesus. It ain't, yep. Um, if mm-hmm. it ain't Jesus, it doesn't roll. Not at all. And then he, I had a, I remember one time I had like a, a action figure and I traded it for somebody in school for Dr. Ock from um, Spider-Man Ooh. with all the things. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. My mom was like, get this, get this devil stuff out of my house. I can't believe you brought this in here. Made me so scared because I was young. I probably was like six or seven. And then like, I just remember it being laying on my floor. I had a bunk bed and I was on top and I was just looking at him like, that's the devil right there. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it away. <laughs> I was so scared of it. <laughs> you guys were intense, intense. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do superheroes. We could even do like Lord of the Rings, but like, oh okay. Harry Potter, yeah. hell no. No Harry Potter, <laughs> no, no. I no. couldn't do Harry Potter <laughs> until I got my grandma in on it, dude. <laughs> we would watch uh, Harry Potter weekend on ABC Family, and she really liked Dobby. Oh, <laughs> that was my okay. end, that was my oh, end. Yeah, Harry Potter yeah, was Dobby. <laughs> Yeah, dude. When he died, my grandma sobbed real tears, bro. Oh, real damn. tears. Up, oh, wrong one. It's fucked up, man. Let's see. Whoa, my whoa. mom fucked up having eleven, cause you know, like, 
at eight, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Right, and then like you all were in the same house growing up, mm -hmm. or which? Well, so my youngest brother was born bef like after, after my oldest okay. sister moved out. Oh, okay. My okay. nephew is actually older than my littlest brother, so that's funny. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. My uh, my little brother's the same age, or two years older than my niece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the yeah. just kept having them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the long skirts? It is, but we weren't the long skirt type. Mm -hmm. We were like the speaking tongues and like everybody fell asleep during service type. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but not like we didn't do nothing with snakes. No. We didn't have the long skirts. So. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly what it's trying to become. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are just freestyling for the Lord, man. <laughs> I, I got actually. good at it, dog. I, <laughs> I was the best in the region. <laughs> hey, I got in a lot of trouble if I fell asleep in church, man. I would get popped. No, I'm talking about like oh, they yeah. got they got passed out in the spirit. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, so they oh. were so into yeah, it. Yeah, we had blankets, man. Yeah, we had to put over the lady. Yeah, are they special we even blankets? had. Yeah. Ooh. That's the blankets you pull out when the ladies flipped out for the Lord. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got to cover their skirts. <laughs> the hysterical <laughs> blankets, dude. <laughs> they run up and down the hall. Uh, mm -hmm. The runway. Oh, my mom was a flag flyer. What's a flag flyer? Oh, she had the flag. She was dancing with the oh, flag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christian color guard. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, she was in color guard in high school. I think she was just oh, chasing wow. that high. <laughs> <laughs> Could have went to Nashville. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> to sprain my ankle, dude. Yeah. On that pew. <laughs> oh, shit. That, yeah, when I was growing up, we didn't listen to music. But I think it was more so less of like a religious thing and more so of like a lack of culture. Mm -hmm. You know, because my grandparents, they they didn't play anything. Like in the car, I thought like when I, when I got where I went with my friends and stuff, they played music in the car. I was like, is this even allowed? Like, is this legal? <laughs> yeah. Like, can you play it while you're driving? It just seems distracting, you know? Yeah, uh, that's crazy. So well, I won't play music in the car when I'm by myself anymore. He has serial killer vibes, too. Mm -hmm. Old oh, people are weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were any of y'all a kid when SpongeBob came out? Yeah, I wasn't yeah. allowed to watch it. Yeah. You were allowed to watch it? Mm -mm. No, I wasn't until I was like six. I don't know. My mom said it was too inappropriate. There is some wild stuff. Yeah, it's very inappropriate. It's crazy. When I watch it and grew up, in life, I realized, yeah, that shit was crazy, man. But knowing all oh, the things man. that were going on behind the scenes at Nickelodeon now, oh, oh my watch it. god, and it wasn't oh, even, oh my gosh, don't even, I'll no, get on no, the no, that's what we want. I watched it all night watch it. last night. You too, I want you I to haven't film watched me it, yeah. but like, okay, so basically, Nickelodeon, mm -hmm. Dan Snyder, is that yep, his name? Dan yeah. Snyder. He was a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he was like raping the kids, and he was like, dude, I mean, we know like the foot stuff in the episodes, but he was like foot assaulting these kids like a whole bunch of shit and then uh i think well i don't know what can i say in here i think he uh, we say, just no, cut it out we just cut it whatever but i think he like raped drake bell and like amanda yeah. Bynes, and then uh, they do was like oh we didn't know it wasn't public. from drake and josh oh no it was yeah, another drake guy and josh. that uh they recently found or they didn't another recently. one it was another See, him hold on this guy he was the worst one at like oh, dude. Oh right. Oh yeah, he's the he one. Guess? He's the one that did that to I, Drake Bell. He, uh, I found out he mm -hmm. was so bad that a kid came there one day and he had a paint. He was like, "What's that clown painting?" Apparently he was a pen pal with John Wayne fucking Gacy. What? Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, man. That dude right there. He was known pedophile too. Like before he was on set, like it was known. Oh, they, was they hired him knowing yes. that shit. Even when he got out, they rehired oh him, but they were like, "You got all these limits. You can't do that. You can't do this." How is that not like the main requirement for working with kids? Dude, Hollywood's Yo. fucked. <laughs> oh my yeah. god it no man. it should be it I, I really mean it should, should be, be number one mm -hmm. yeah. and you know what was worse man like when they were in uh the court they showed all these celebrities and stuff that were defending the dude mm -hmm. telling the kid he was wrong when the kid was like how are you gonna tell me when i'm telling y'all what happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh he's a kid yeah That's they're like oh he's a kid you, dude because I saw, uh, it was like a YouTube, I haven't seen that documentary, mm, but it was neither. like a YouTube clip and they were mm -hmm. talking about him and they were talking about, uh, uh, yeah, all those people came on his side, like uh, like really famous people yep. mm -hmm. and were like, wrote letters for him and they said they wrote it uh, under not knowing what was going on, but you know what's going know. on. Mm -hmm. You're not going to write something mm -hmm. for Why somebody. Why agree without, if you don't yeah. know the story? Yeah, exactly. Like, well, that doesn't even make sense. Like a character mm -hmm. witnesses and shit like that. 
Damn, but, but wait. Who he, did it? Yeah. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> and then they said Lee, even Leonardo DiCaprio was a victim uh, from uh, Brian Peck, too. They found out. Oh, wow. Damn. See, and if, I got, if I was a victim and I got as big as yeah. Leo, I would crush them. I'm yeah. talking about make yeah. their life oh, so bad. Oh, damn. Wouldn't that's even like, get the police involved, but I'm telling mm-hmm. you, I would make them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they would. And that's pay. one of the guys that uh, was backing them up. Oh, that's uh, yeah. James Morrison. Oh, he was okay. backing them. He was backing Brian <laughs> he was up. Backing <laughs> <up>. <laughs> yeah, he was a uh, kid. Yeah, but he was like, yeah, he wrote like a letter saying something about. It. Let me see. What is his name? Yeah, a whole bunch of. Are you of reading did. this from the headline of the <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I, no. I saw the documentary. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. He got in there. They said he wrote. Some, I forgot. But like back then, he because he hung around him a lot. I, I'd have to relook at it, but they said, yeah, he wrote a letter about it. Did you get into the uh, like when the p- pandemic came and all the uh, Hollywood or Holly all, weird, Holly dude. weird, all yeah. that stuff? Did I get, like, yes. like, did you get into the the conspiracy theories? Oh no, but I have my I I will get behind some conspiracy theories. Oh yeah, yeah. What's the What's Holly you? weird one? It's like it was like they're they're eating they're eating children. Adrenochrome. Uh, adrenochrome. Oh, they're sucking okay. their blood out. No, I didn't get into and that. Then, My uh, little sisters did, but they, but they were saying everybody in Hollywood like the uh, what's that cult? The Tegans? Oh, yeah, but no, no, they were in it for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a cult. One hundred percent. Heard about that was the first one I heard about too. It was like, mm-hmm. but yeah, whatever they claimed about her, they claimed about a lot of people. <laughs> this yeah. is the letter. It, yeah, this is the letter. This right weak here. ass letter, dude. <laughs> in Times New Roman, yeah. I can read it to y'all. Right? Radio voice. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me hold this. I know Brian very well, and I know how much he has suffered since August of 2003. Brian is a good person with a very healthy fear and respect for the law. And I assume you, what Brian has been through the last year is the suffering of a hundred men. I don't intend to victimize Brian, nor would he ever wish that, but I do feel compelled and light on the fact that I have learned his lesson. I guarantee you, the earth would fall from the sky before Brian would even think about doing something like this again. Yeah. I hope again, again, so he knows. I hope that you consider what I have stated here in your judgment. I owe to Peck Brian a lot of who I am and who I am proud to be. Sincerely, James Marson. That's grooming. Damn. Man. How old was he in 2003? Let's see. Let's yeah. see. What was his name? Let's see. Yeah, he's James old. So he's, he's, I mean, he's got to be older than me, so he was old enough. Let's see. James Marston was born in 1973, so 10, 20. So he was 20 in 1993. Oh, then he turned 30 him. in 2003. Yeah. So he was 30 something when That's it happened. That's wild as shit, man. Damn. Damn, Damn never James mind. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this dude on Hop, man. Come on. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the new Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm They're saying. They're taking the new Sonic. <laughs> oh, no. This dude. was my movie as a kid. Now, <sighs> <laughs> he had a big ass feet, oh my God. just like me. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> oh no, man! We, yeah. So, what would be a conspiracy? What, what, what's one of the ones you're into? Like you really believe? Yeah. It. Oh, that I really believe. Mm-hmm. I do think Hollywood is like pedophilic elite. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think yeah, that's yeah. like a hundred percent up there. Mm-hmm. Epstein shit. I believe all that oh, Epstein yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Um, or do you go on, okay on the Epstein? Do you go as far as like think you know who's on the list? I don't, I don't know anything about the list. I think we'll get it, and but I think I'll wait. Came out, but they they teased it like well, we four found or five out times. That, that. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We found out so the list did come out. Jay Z. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, they said something about Jay Z. Okay, I think there was different times of the island. Seasonally. <laughs> I think we had a we're we raping kids time yeah. season, and uh-huh. then it was like yachts, bitches, and yeah. so yeah. I think it was like yeah, I think like a com- com- full list probably isn't like all of these people are the pedophiles. Yeah, because you got to think if they're like oh the pre- all the presidents and all these elites come out here, you want to go. Somebody mm-hmm. invite you out there. Also, he was like, I don't know what he did, but he was like a pristine rich. Yeah, he was person, Epstein, so yeah. like he had like luxurious guests. Yeah, and he was mm-hmm. always, he was friends with like the uh, the royals. Really, really yeah. good That's friends. Not surprising. Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. that one dude was uh, he's yeah uh, that prince Andrew prince, uh, Andrew, Andrew yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Take it, got his ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shit. made him step back. <laughs> Lock him up. <laughs> no, I'm not reading all that. Oh shit, yeah. you went on Al Jazeera. That's what that. Yep, yeah, Al Jazeera. Right. Is that is that a uh, factual right there? Let me oh yeah, that's a really that's, that's a well regarded publication, dude. Mm. For all your North African news. Oh, mm-hmm. I need to take a look sometimes. Is that where the island was? 
No, no, I, or I don't think so. Actually, that's a really good fucking question. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let me I search no idea where island was. location. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's good in, to know. I, yeah, yeah just in case you accidentally stumble upon it one day. Virgin Islands. Oh, so Virgin um, Islands with no virgin. That's <laughs> oh, <God>. Jesus. <laughs> Look, oh, that came American out wrong, y'all. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, my gosh. And, oh, okay, we looked up his island location. Never mind. <laughs> I thought when you looked up the Virgin Islands, it was like... <laughs> the number four. one on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think that's like one of the most expensive places to live, though. The Virgin Islands. Is it? I think Gross. like the per per capita, it's like one Let's of the see, most rent expensive prices. places to live. <laughs> rent. <laughs> <laughs> How much is a studio in the Virgin Islands? Well, he paid what was it, seven point ninety five million dollars, but that was in nineteen ninety eight. So. Oh, that thing's worse. Well, I don't know. Ooh, one hundred and ten million, I think. Ooh. Now, maybe. My gosh, man! Jesus, that's like the GDP of like a really small country, dude. Yeah, man. that's. Virgin Islands does have like this one office building too. That's like one, two stories, but it's like housing like three hundred of the top five hundred companies in the world mm. for tax for tax fraud. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Um, mm. Damn. That's where you go if you want to commit tax fraud. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Write that down for later. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Took this up. <laughs> so so uh, you like improv. Or, yeah. or you went to college for improv, right? No, I didn't go okay. to I did. I did improv in college. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I get Her it. major was improv. <laughs> I get no, it. that's okay. like, uh, I think. Jalen went yeah. to like a arts oh, college yeah, and he yeah, like yeah. did something in stand up like mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to do too. Like the same place he was at Columbia, I was almost in, but you know I I'm broke, so I couldn't get in. Mm-hmm. Man, like, yeah, because yeah. when you switch states, you don't get yeah. the uh, mm-hmm. no. that like out of state tuition. Mm-hmm. Insane. Yeah. yeah. So how'd you like it? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was a star. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah! I love it. I was also an alcoholic, but <laughs> <laughs> it happens. The lab rat. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, lab, lab rat. I was a lab rat. Wait, you were in the? Were you in the show, lab rat? So you just a lab rat? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sang the intro. I was one uh, of the extras at the okay, high school. I was like, That's so cool. <laughs> 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 so did you while you were in college were you doing stand-up or just improv no i think i did i did stand up like twice in college there was like a stand-up thing that had just opened at a bar and it was like literally just my improv troupe and some friends that like went and did it but i think i had done it like twice and then covid happened oh, okay and okay then, so i had like done stand-up before mm-hmm. but not like actually and you went to mississippi state mm-hmm yeah. Oh, shout out. Hell, stay. Hell yeah, hold Hell up. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> Ole Miss. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know anything about football, so I hate Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I don't like them either. So when did you start like really getting into stand-up? When I moved to Huntsville in like July... 2021? July 2021? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So like, that's yeah, so almost three, four. Yeah, that's three oh, years wow. now. Come on, look. Hell yeah, yeah. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey. <laughs> and you're already a killer. Hell I'm telling yeah. you, I've seen I've seen you kill before. That old Ryan show, you brought that motherfucker down. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll be woo. Because <laughs> Raina went up first. Raina was ki- yeah. Raina ki- it, I mean, the like the vibes were set so well. Mm-hmm. Like it was that was a good show. That yeah. was a really good show. And then the and then there was another between you and Raina. Mm-hmm. I didn't know her name. I can't I can't remember her name. She was our bucket spot. So it was oh, she was like okay. she uh one like one of our headliners brought her I don't remember her name. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> we'll edit it in. You're right? All right. We'll yeah, put it right here. It's, it's like we'll her mouth like it out it in the same <laughs> We just cut it to you saying it. Yeah. yeah. In, a, it in a different, like, stance. <laughs> yeah. like, like, it's Brandon's voice on her <laughs> body. Like, name it. <laughs> oh, I'll just say, like, water. <laughs> 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 cut your voice in on that. Oh, man. No, but you're a killer. You're, you're my girlfriend's favorite Huntsville comedian. Good. Yeah. With yeah. all of them being considered, <laughs> including me, man. <laughs> I'm not even upset about it. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, she saw you at the terrific mm-hmm. last oh, month. Yeah. yeah, you killed that. Yeah, you. you that was good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I was good. actually, I was like starting to get like very nervous for like little, for, I don't know, like shows again. Yeah, and so that was one of them. And I like accidentally told a bunch of my jokes weird, 
Like I told him like in a different way, but like everybody was like, I like the way you said that joke tonight. And I was like, hey, I got to watch that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So uh, Scott put you on your first show, right? Yeah. It was like a show at Bar at 805. Uh And he had like some traveling comedians come in. And I was like, not, I was like new. Uh It was like, I was new. And he was like, hey, uh, you're going to go up before these ladies, (laughs) by the way. And I was like, okay. And I got like 15 bucks. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You did cross country? Yeah, in high school. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of runners on here. Yeah, what's up with that, dude? Mm. Hmm? You and Carson. Yeah, Runners. yeah, yeah. That's and who are. we get along. And that's yeah. how you co-host the night nightcap. Yeah. Right. Uh, 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 uh. yeah. So what is that? Because <laughs> well, 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 I, I haven't been yet. Night camp is like it's like a variety show. That, okay. And I mean, like, so me and Carson, we like planned, we like planned a few, but then we were like asked, like, hey, hey, you want to do another night camp? So like that was that was huge. That yeah. It was like, hey, we like night camp. Keep it coming. Um, but it's like a variety show. So we have two improvisers, like two people that are the improv people from mm-hmm. like, because we have a Huntsville improv like. Yeah, I do. I do the same thing. I do the same. Thing. <laughs> Wait, what I try is to call it improvisation. <laughs> Impro- <laughs> Improvise. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, I did that last night with Symphony on the radio. I actually said, "I said this is the the I'm struggling." Symphony. Was Symphony? Fuck. Symphony. 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 Yeah, and I spent ten minutes just constantly saying sympathy. <laughs> sympathy. This was live on the radio? Oh, no, I turned that air off. Like, I mean, I was struggling on the air, too. Like, even on the air, I was like, Sip. and then I got so mad when I turned off. Like, fuck, man. Drax. I was waiting for the phone call. What the fuck was that, Brandon? Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. We have a Huntsville imprint. <laughs> <laughs> We have a scene for that thing too. And so we have two people that are improvisers only, and then we get like four comics. So the comics will do like a little set, but then they are also in the improv game. Oh, okay. So like we have improvisers so that like they actually know how to run the scene. So it like that's it's a good improv scene. Um, but then it's like the stand ups like just thrown to the winds with it too. Hmm. And then sometimes we have drag shows, which is awesome. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Oh, hell yeah. So that's like a halftime <laughs> closer <laughs> opener. <laughs> it's like it's always a it's a good time. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Good. Oh yeah. I went to the um show they had yesterday. Uh Sketchy? Sketchy, yeah. Mm-hmm. How was and it? It was good. It was, it's so crazy how you guys can remember all that shit. Like there would be no way for like it was like ten sketches. Oh yeah. And oh, wow. and they didn't have a piece of paper. They didn't have uh, you know, anything to remember it off of, and they just knew all of it and didn't break. Like I thought it was gonna be at least a couple breaks, mm-hmm. didn't break at all. They were, it, was, it was good. Hell it was yeah. really fun. Hmm. So they how had, do you get into like this improv? Do you have to do like a class thing if you want to get into I it? Or? You have to do a class. Uh, shenanigans does mm-hmm. like Thunderdomes, which is like anybody can go and do that, but you have to go to like a practice or two beforehand. Okay. And so if you like probably reached out and was like, Hey, when are your Thunderdome practice dates? I want to try it. I think you could okay. do it like that. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. They, oh, it's cool. They, they, they do have fun. classes. You just they go, do have classes yeah. though. Yeah. Go check out shenanigans.com. I know it's not called Huntsville that. Huntsville Okay. Yep, Huntsville Huntsville yes. And, uh, look up the, the calendar and yep. get on there. That's what I'm going to do. Who's doing Huntsville laughs? Mm-hmm. I don't either. That's a good question. I mean, a Who runs the website? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. I thought that was Shenanigans' as a site. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so it has to be Kim or Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, Jessica. Yeah. Probably Jessica. Maybe. Kim's going to watch this. She'll tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing right now, Jessica, for sure. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, my God. Jessica posted a picture of. You, Dan, and Kim on Facebook yesterday. Uh-huh. It was so funny. Dude. Oh, yeah, I saw like, that. Y'all standing next to each other. There, she was like, they're up to something. <laughs> they're up to something. We were just trying to figure something out about how to create a new channel on YouTube. <laughs> it took all three of us. We're all over there. <laughs> to create an dude. account? Yeah. I have my gosh. You were so dedicated. What else are we going to use? <laughs> Jessica's like, I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I saw a dime. I was like, that's a fucking working man right there. So, <laughs> yeah, you were grinding yeah, you yesterday, were, You were dude. so focused, bro. I loved it. You were... Well, because I didn't know what the fuck. I, I was like, I should know how to do this. You know when somebody asks you something, like, immediately, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, just do this. Then it wasn't working. You start thinking like, you're like oh, try, try. <laughs> but it, nothing was working. I was wrong? Um. <laughs> that was us yesterday trying to figure out how to color correct white people yeah. on the podcast. Because they Damn. just get washed out. Yeah. You're going to have to draw that nose back. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll get better at it. We'll get a little better. Hope maybe this episode it looks good and hey, you just I'm not even visible. The warm right line, I appreciate the warm line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got my summer or not my winter pale name. So <laughs> So where are you from? You're not from here, right? Nah, I'm from like Florida. Florida. Like Pensacola. Shores. Uh Shores? Uh, no. Like, Pensacola. Pensacola's like Pensacola. I got my boy from Pensacola. That's how he told you. Like she got a little drop back deal. <laughs> That's exactly how they thought. She got a little drop back there. What you talking about, big dog? That's how they thought. A little shout out night. He never watched it. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, though? Mm-hmm. Was buying like CDs at the gas station a big thing back in the day? Well, you wouldn't buy like a legit CD at a gas station, but you would buy, uh, it would be people out there to buy bootlegs. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. So, you know, you would have somebody out there be like, I got the new uh, 400 Degrees by Hot Boys. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you'd be like, how much? And they try to charge you. And they, was, they would be, they would try to charge you like $6 or something like that. Because yeah. the, the CD back then was like 20 okay. was it? I think 15? it was like, yeah, 15 15 I think like $15 for it's a CD. It's kind of steep for mm-hmm. one CD. Yeah, but that was the only way you could get music back then. There was no... That's what I would have done in a past life. The stream what? So CDs? <laughs> Sell CDs. No, it was cool as shit. <laughs> yes. That's how I saw Iron Man 2. I got fucked up. You can you remember that special dude slamming? My mom pulled up to Kroger's. He opened up his van. He opened up his trunk. He was like, what the fuck y'all want? She was like, get him Iron Man 2. That's how I saw it. What was it? Horton, here's a who? <laughs> and that was the worst one, dude. That was the worst what? one. What? I fun. mean, it was, I, I thought it was all right. Suck, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It was weird. The first one was way better. I, I think I, Robert Downey Jr. had a relapse that year or something, dude. Maybe. It went downhill. You like the Marvel movies? I stopped it in game. Oh, yeah. Because we just, that's, that's where it fucking ended. It. Exactly. Yep. Thank you. So, all those other sh- I don't like Marvel anymore. Oh. Yeah. But I did. Mm hmm. Back I- then, be- like in game and before, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, everybody was into it. Like, you, to it some was an extent, event to go to know? the movies mm-hmm. and watch this. Oh, uh, and then they, they should have just ended it. You could have ended it and brought in whatever the new thing is. And I like the Tom Holland Spider Man. I like the direction they went with that. Where yeah. it's like, okay, now we can do multiverse. Uh-huh. Now yes. we can do other things other than the main storyline. Yeah, exactly. That is over. Mm-hmm. That's over. But they, they won't. They, they won't, won't let it die. What about Deadpool? Money. You like the Deadpool? I do like Deadpool. Oh, yeah. You gonna you gonna come out of retirement and see the new one though? Uh, in theaters, no. Uh, but I will watch it when it comes out on HBO Max. <laughs> no, I, I've never seen a Deadpool. Oh theater, man, so. you got it. You missing out? It's really good. It is good. It's a fun. That's a fun hero movie. I like that they cuss. Oh, they cuss. Oh, yeah. they, they, they do. Yeah, I like that they say bad words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dumb like they edgy have stuff. Sex, all that. I thought that's how you remember the movie Hancock. Oh mm-hmm. man, yeah. Will Smith. I thought that was gonna be way better. Because like in the commercial, yeah. it was like he was drinking something, and some old lady said, "Shut up, bitch!" <laughs> like, this is gonna be the best. This is gonna be the best superhero movie all it time. It just turned out to be a bad love story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. son of a. <laughs> <laughs> oh Man. shit! That Dune Two movie was good to see in theaters, though. It was good. Yeah. It was a lot of like, <laughs> <laughs> like sensory overload, just like loud war noise, like but not even like the war noise, like the but the big like bongs and like misty desert. There's like mm. seventeen of those shots. Damn, <laughs> damn. Did you see the whole thing with the Dune Two like limited edition popcorn bucket? Yeah. Yes, yeah, they my sold buddy out. has one. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Yeah, they He's sold already out. fucked it. <laughs> I was looking into it. He man. broke it in, man. <laughs> no, no. Because it's got that worm. <laughs> that worm. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. oh God. Why is the hand coming out? Look how much it costs now, man. I was so upset. I was like, fuck. Wait, what? How much do they cost? It's like uh, almost $100 now. Look, Damn. one's 179 
Damn, be like, it's like you miss out. You had a chance. You just... <laughs> <laughs> Should have got one. Yeah. Yeah. You wanted one, Brandon? Yeah. That was cool to have. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could just get one that's designed for that purpose. Come on, for I cheaper, had a football, honestly. man. This is... Oh, yeah. That was oh, fucking... ass. <laughs> he once had a pocket pussy that was shaped as a football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta understand. <laughs> and you know what sucks about this? What? <laughs> you know what? Nobody else know this shit, but uh, we we went there with my whole family and we snuck in the back trunk because <laughs> we were like we were like real young. We were fourteen, and we just, you were fourteen. Uh, you had a football party. Fourteen to fifteen, yeah. And me and my friend were it's in Spencer's. dedicated to the sport. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were in Spencer's. I, was I don't got football. time to think about bitches. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I knew we had we were gonna be a while, so I said fuck it. But uh, I sent my friend in there. I was like, go, go get two, man. You know, and go he, get two. He made it so awkward. He was like, so hey, it's my first time getting one. I don't know why the fuck you would tell the cash register that. He was like, okay, fuck it. So then we went home, and uh, By the way. then we tried out, and then he was like, I don't like it. I, I threw it in the trash. I was like, me too. I didn't. But I realized <laughs> I did. I realized something that you should have done. I, I was supposed to take it out of the football. I didn't know that. <laughs> so the whole time you were trying to bang it, it was in the football. Yeah, he's tossing around because old thought, pigs. That's why you dude. didn't like it how it felt. Yeah, I was like, this shit is weird, man. How the fuck am I? I in my young ass, I didn't know you had to stretch it out. No, I didn't know, man. I was learning. <laughs> yeah, I, these are the things we learn here on Clown College. Yeah, <laughs> hey, it's Clown College, man. Yeah, we here to learn. <laughs> How'd you take find it out? out? How'd you find out you could take it out of the football? Found out. Actually, it was like a couple months ago because I was sitting down. <laughs> no, because... You've had an extended relationship? You said no. 14, you just turned He's 21. No, got, got it. Seven no, years. No, no, no. What happened was I was reminiscing about the old days one day and I was like, <laughs> I was like, shit, man, I need to, damn, I could have just took it out. Maybe it would have felt better. I don't know. Buy some shit for Oh, so it was meant to fuck as a football. Oh, yeah, it was meant okay. to. What you did okay. was you twisted. You had a front and back. And you, you twist whichever side you felt that day. And, uh, yeah, you're supposed to take that whole thing out of the football. The like, sleeve. Yeah, the will. sleeve. That's yeah. just the that's yeah. the hidden. That's the treasure case. <laughs> I, I don't know. He made himself <laughs> uncomfortable when he said that. It's weird. It's a weird time. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck football. <laughs> What happened? Yeah, well, where's it at? Sure can't catch it. <laughs> no, I you just catch it and you just get those days facial. are behind us, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I try to catch it and throw it back. That's all I got now, man. He's not allowed at the live shows. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. No. Just watch it on, on TV. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about when we were throwing the football around outside Canna Bar. If yeah. that was Brandon's football or not, dude. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Why he had to football. excuse himself early? <laughs> Why is it so fucking slippery, dude? I was like, damn. Uh, Brandon's just like been in the bathroom a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you were throwing football. <laughs> Cannabar's got a nice bathroom, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, single and just the little slide lock on the mm-hmm. door. They got a good setup in there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brandon knows. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll go in there to do what I got to do, then go tell a joke. That's <laughs> what on, I got. What, 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 because you because, because, like, yeah, because at first, I heard Brandon knows what he knows about that. And then second ago, we were talking about footballs and and uh, being in the room too long. So I was like, I was like, let's let them know I don't do that. Oh, I'm you don't masturbate in the bathroom. No, not no, not no. You not have not a no joke story, about that. That's why I was making y'all like, just no, I don't go to places and just no, we don't do that. Like <laughs> that is frowned upon. Yes, yeah. no, I can't. Yeah. As you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, yeah, as yeah. you shouldn't. Yeah, you hear that old man? No, <laughs> mm, you don't do don't that. Don't jerk shit. off in public where I should. Hey, I remember I'm looking at you, Charlie. <laughs> this dude was talking to me I, at my job. He's like, "Hey, man, you should. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, freaking weird ass." Oh uh, well, what, what? at your What's job, somebody said yeah, you like should go jack dude, off in the back. What about standing outside? And he was like, "Look at it, this horizon out here." I was like, "What are you talking about, sir?" He's like, "You know, on your break." I bet you go in there and do that. I was like, no, no, I don't. And he was like, he was like, well, I know I do. And I was like, okay, man. It was, it, Did he work with you? No, it was a random ass dude. Yeah, uh, I never seen him again in my yeah, life. He was, yeah, he I was never flirting. seen him in my life That's, again. Th- nobody asks people stuff like that, Brandon. I, I don't Did he ask this friend to break it? I don't know why I didn't. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. You should do it. like, oh shit. 
Yeah, like I was like, all right, man, up. all right, cool, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awkward. You have a uh, <laughs> that the awkwardness was not on you. No, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no not, not on you at all. <laughs> Do you have an embarrassing story that you would tell? Sure. Like what, what? 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 Like something I you mean, got yeah, really embarrassed I, about? Something I got really embarrassed about? Yeah. Like for comedy or yeah, just comedy. in general? Oh, okay. it, it could be it could be in general. Just yeah. if it's a funny I story. was like, oh man, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> Amen. 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 Um, you say you shot yourself? No, what? Shit. Oh, uh, like your anal leakage that you had? Yeah, well, shit yourself. Everybody does yeah. that as growing up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah. Guys. yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're supportive. Right, geez. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that was the year it happened to me. 2008. <laughs> Madagascar 2 that's came out. That's the last time you shit yourself? <laughs> yes. 2008. <laughs> Madagascar too. Pull up a picture of IHOP. Ooh, I- <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. That son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Raggedy good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. When's the last time you shit yourself, Dom? Hmm. You know, it's been a while. It's been a while, but... Two weeks? Uh, <laughs> Accident free? <laughs> At least. <laughs> Probably, probably like six years. I oh, shit myself more recently than yeah, that. Yeah, I shit myself more recently than that. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was my first day. Let's hear all the shit story. I'll hey. tell you, dude. It was my first day of my junior year of college. Mm-hmm. I shit my pants on the drive to school. Damn. Did I trusted go? the fart. Well, no. I went oh, home. No, no, dude. I didn't, I didn't go to class a, after that. What if you had a test, <laughs> you I, was, to. I had a lot more shit on my mind. <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was bad, man. I just went home, and then I went to my next class, though, dude. Okay. I wasn't going to let it ruin my entire day. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't show up with shit in your pants, no. man. Oh, no, you can't. Well, you could... That is also frowned upon. <laughs> Very <laughs> frowned upon. Yo, you ever ripped your pants? Where's your, la- where's your next one? What, what was your, your last time? Um, I think... Damn. I think mine was, like, last August... <laughs> oh yeah Sometimes. those warmer months will get you <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah they are rough i'd had three cups of coffee already that day was long Ooh. oh no <laughs> i was driving home i also trusted the fart and i was like ah. yeah now i shit yeah myself. you can't trust those far. no me i was too that's why anxiety is good i was too paranoid back then like you saw it you remember when i fraud all going for because i was too fucked up mm-hmm. drunk and i got the bag whenever i feel like a storm's are coming i go i go prepared man like, I was in school, I said, oh, shit. I just ran in there. People were like, where the fuck are you going? I saved it all, man. Because if I wouldn't, if I would have trusted it, that would have been a bad day. See, I feel you. Now, I'll say this. I never shit where it went down, like, my leg. Oh, no. I haven't either. No? I had shorts on, man. Oh. No. But I was sitting down, so it was oh. all contained. No. Ugh. No. Well, what about when you stood up to get it out? Oh. It was more of like a crab shuffle. You know what I'm okay, saying? Like, okay. get out of the car. And then just went directly into my house. Couldn't look any of my family in the eye at that yeah, point, I feel, dude. I peed on myself not too. Uh, I, I definitely pissed on myself. And I, I feel like pissing is way easier to avoid, yeah. though. See, here goes the thing. What, whenever I had to piss, I was driving home from somebody's house. And when I left her house, I had to, I had to piss really bad. And I knew that there was a gas station on the way between my house and her house. Right? So I'm like... I'm good to stop at this gas station. When I got out to go to the gas station, it was closed. And then so I'm like, okay, I, I can make it back. And like I got back in the car and I was like, I can't, I can't make it. So oh, no. And this is when I was in the Army. So I had to go through a gate to get back on. Like somebody checks you. So my my whole thing was like, I had some Gatorade next. So I was like, I'm going to pour the Gatorade on me. And if he asked me <laughs> why. <laughs> you smart. probably pour the Gatorade on you. <laughs> Like, man, it's purple. What the fuck? That's smart. I was like, no, I spilled Gatorade on myself, man. He didn't ask. It's like, why is this stain purple? Like, he didn't ask. I just spilled Gatorade on myself. <laughs> Yo, did you ever uh, accidentally rip your pants or something? In oh, front of I people? did that. I did that in Austin last time I was there. Oh, <laughs> dead ass. Hell yeah, man. Man, that happens all the time. Man. Oh well, <laughs> hey, that mine then. Hey, man, that was bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I, I've never told this. I feel really bad about this. So I like to wear these Carhartt T-shirts. Like I wear a car just because I like the how it feels, mm-hmm. man. And and the thing about them is they have the tags on like the side right here. It's not in the back. So and and it rubs against my like 
handle right here, dude. Mm-hmm. And I don't like it. Irritation. So I was standing at the urinal one time at fucking uh, Campus 805, right outside the speakeasy. And I was kind of, I had I had a little bit to drink. And I was like, I gotta get this fucking thing off of me. And I ripped the tag off, and I'm standing at the urinal pissing. And I rip it off, and it throws my body like this, and I piss oh, like no. all over the wall. Like if there was somebody at the urinal next to me, like I would have gave them an oh, impromptu damn. wet t-shirt contest, dude. Shit. Oh. But you didn't. I did. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't. You got to be the author of your own story, dude. <laughs> Imagine if I was working there, man. They would have been like, Brandon, we need you to clean this shit. Somebody pee all over the walls. <laughs> you do get stuck with that, man. I'm sorry. You got to stop saying yes to yeah. that. I can't. I don't have a choice. Because you do, saying, Brandon. You, like, you do. Like, no, you can man, be the author like, of your it. own story. That's it. Get out. And I'm like, all right. Throw the my bucket at him. What? What should, what, should, what should he tell, Master? What should I tell? Fuck y'all. No, what? you can't do that. It's that. They always come to him to... To make him clean up the shit. Yeah, like crime mm-hmm. scenes. Yeah, and then don't, they don't give him hours. They don't give him raises, but he always has to clean up the shit and the piss yes. every time. Like if we had Throw a homeless up. dude do a revenge crap. He got mad because we kicked him out. He came back in there because he had an elephant foot of his wheelchair and got it all over the place. And then they're like, Brandon, if you do it. No, they were like, Brandon, we need you to clean. So I cleaned. It was so bad. A whole What's aisle. your job title? Uh, a bagger, clerk. And then what sometimes do you mean bag clerk and you're cleaning <laughs> shit? Customer yeah. service, like sometimes <laughs> right? what they do is they get like certain people to clean. So they'll go up to be like, it's your day to do it. It's your day to do it. And then at one point they just had it me the whole time because they were like, he's no. so good. Yeah, and then now now I'm getting to the point I'm like, eh, I don't know. Fuck no. You should have said no a while ago, I but know, you can I still should've. say no now. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell her what your compensation was for cleaning the shit. A free sub. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a free <sub. laughs> Did you get to choose what was on it? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Well, me the buffalo. I got me the buffalo chicken uh, special, man. Oh. Take it back. <laughs> buffalo chicken yeah. special. What's the, what's the buffalo chicken so special? What I do is, is it I, your personal thing? Yes, yes. So okay, I get the, uh, what is it, the, the white bread. <laughs> then I get the buffalo chicken. Then I get some blue cheese. And after the blue cheese, I put some uh, Swiss cheese on it. And then a little bit of ranch. Not that much, a little slice of mayonnaise that you can't even really tell. Like just, a, I tell them what they do is what you got to do. This is how you do it. So you get the scoop, and then you put it against the thing at the bottom. You got a little line, and then you put it on the bread like that and toast it. And then you can put <laughs> lettuce on there. Maybe if you're risky or feisty or going crazy that day, put a little black olives, and that's it. <laughs> I clean a crime what, scene for that. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> What's your supper choice? Um... I actually had to give up cheese recently. Oh, oh, yeah. but, oh no, this was my, you know, I was coming back for it. <laughs> oh. Coming back for it. But um, I'm like a vegetable. I like a vegetable yeah, you, scent. Yeah. You asked for veggie uh, mm-hmm. quesadilla. Do you eat meat, though? I do eat meat. It's oh. just not my preference. Because mm. I was vegetarian for like a couple years, okay. like through high school. And then so I was like, well, I'll eat meat again. But then it just like, I still was like, man, but that veggie sandwich was delish. <sighs> mm-hmm. Veggie sandwich, mm-hmm. onions, tomatoes, onions, lettuce. Which I'll put turkey on it, mayonnaise. Uh-huh. Sometimes I'll get crazy a piece of bacon, maybe two. A Ooh, club? No. Is that yeah, a shit. club? Is That's a club. Delicious. Yeah, I like a club. With pesto, <laughs> holy shit! I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pesto on everything. I never tried pesto. That's oh hell, good. man, you got it. If you're cleaning shit off the wall, dude, you need some pesto on your sandwich. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Let's see what pesto. Looks I tell like. you, two bags of chips <laughs> and a fruit down. cup. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. that looks yeah. interesting. Oh my god! So good. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want this after I clean. I don't. <laughs> they hand me this. I'm like, this a game? Uh, he's seen too many kinds of shit. <laughs> yeah. To eat pesto. <laughs> I can't get over when he was describing the sandwich. He said a slice of mayonnaise. Yeah, oh, yeah, because I'm telling you, I'm very like, if you do a little, like, it, like okay, so this is, the, this is the butter knife. And then if you see it, it has to be, I want it lying like this. Because if you got a little bit, ooh, then it's going to take over You're the You're asking show. somebody to do this No, for I you? don't ask them. I just say light. I just, I don't ask them. I'd be like, real light. But that's, if I ever had the, the knife, I would do it. Like, if somebody gets mm. this and does this and it's like too crazy, I'd be like, well, this is just going to be a messy sandwich. Mm-hmm. But that's what I prefer. Light. <laughs> Light. Well, Light. Ashlyn, this is the end of the podcast. Hell it's yeah. been a fun one. It has been a fun one. We got some good laughs. I mean, 
I was crying over here. <laughs> for real. <laughs> well, what you going to do now? In this camera right here, you say any uh, anything you got coming up, your socials and everything, and we'll have it on the side Shit. of you. My name is Ashlyn Lutz. Uh, you can catch me at night camp in June of this year. It's not sooner. Probably going to be June. You can find me on Instagram at ass.deluxe. Um, don't add me on Facebook, probably, but... You can find me on Instagram. Hell yeah. <laughs>